Hello, today I will be discussing about the characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses of quantitative research. So, a quantitative research is a systematic investigation of observable phenomena where a researcher gathers quantitative or numerical data and subjects them to statistical methods. Another characteristic of a quantitative research is that it is highly deductive as it uses the statistical data to test hypotheses and theories. Quantitative research, it uses a larger population or set of participants in the study compared to the qualitative research. And the sampling method that is used in the quantitative research is the probability sampling. What are the main goals of a quantitative research? First is to test hypotheses. Second is to explore the causal relationships of two or more variables. And then to make up predictions based on the numerical data that you have. And then lastly, to generalize our findings within a larger population. Now, let us talk about the strength of a quantitative research. One strength of quantitative research is that it can be replicated or repeated. For example, you would want to test out what is the relationship between the allowance and the grade of the Scully students. So after you are done with that research, you have found out that there is a no significant relationship between the allowance and the grade of the Scully students. So you would want to replicate it and use the kind of research to the other school if it has the same result. So that is a strength of a quantitative research that it can be replicated or repeated. Another strength of a quantitative research is that it provides findings that are generalizable to a larger population. In your findings, for example, the participants of your study are the guest students. There are 300 guest students. Of course, you will not include everyone from the guest. You will just randomly select 100 students from the guest, but those 100 students could represent everyone, the 300 population of the guest students. Also, when you are going to analyze the data in your quantitative research is that it would be faster by using softwares such as Excel or another kind of software that would help you analyze your numerical data faster compared to a descriptive data in the qualitative research. Lastly, a strength of a quantitative research is that its validity and reliability can be measured. This time, let us talk about the weaknesses of a quantitative research. The first weakness of a quantitative research is that it cannot adequately provide in-depth information in explaining and describing a complex phenomenon. Since you only have your numerical data, it doesn't have a written explanation or description about a phenomena, so you cannot provide an in-depth explanation for that one. Next one is that it lacks the ability to provide a comprehensive textual description of a human experience. Another weakness of a quantitative research is that it cannot provide an explanation when it comes to intangible factors such as socioeconomic status, gender roles, and social norms. Another weakness of a quantitative research is that the response of the participants is only limited and restricted to what have been asked. So it could not provide an extensive explanation on a certain case. Okay, so that's it for this discussion. We have discussed the characteristics, the strengths, and weaknesses of a quantitative research. I hope that you have learned something about this lesson and you are ready to answer your questions. Good day everyone and good luck!